All right, buenos dias, que paso amigos. Welcome back to the channel, John's Moto Garage. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about Million Dollar Bogan, and I figured, you know what? To pay homage to him and all the crazy stuff he does on his Harley, we'll do a very mild dirt road here and do some exploring. This looks like a good enough spot to stop and, and chat a little bit. Paying homage to Million Dollar Bogan today. As you can see, we're out in the dirt with the Harley Davidson, taking the bike and terrain where it doesn't necessarily belong, but that's what he is all about. Today we're talking about the controversy, all the controversy over Million Dollar Bogan in the last like two and a half weeks since it took the internet moto world by storm. Uh, we'll talk about what happened, my thoughts on it, why I waited this long to do a video, slash why I wasn't gonna do a video, and ultimately what I hope comes out of all of this both for harley corporate and million dollar bogan and for us as other harley uh, consumers and dudes who like harley motorcycles and chicks as well so i'm sure you guys all know by now but if you don't i'll do a brief recap a uh, million dollar bogan youtuber out of australia i've been following the dude for a while does some really really rad content on his harley he kills it with the production quality he's doing stuff that's very original unique nobody else is doing it takes his road king worldwide travels through dirt climbs hills does a sports dirt just awesome awesome content and the dude himself is just a character he's hilarious i will say i'm, I'm blown away by the fact that he doesn't have way more subs i mean he's got more than me he's got 67,000 subs or so i'm surprised he doesn't have like 100 200 000 subscribers i think if he was in the states he would but maybe in australia youtube doesn't push it as much i don't know I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Don't you think he should be at 100, 200,000 just based on his content and the quality and all that? But anyway, enough about that. A couple weeks ago, he released a video basically saying, dude, I'm done with the moto vlogging and the YouTubing, at least for now. He said he may be back in a couple months. But it turns out that Harley Davidson Corporate reportedly reached out to the dealership where he frequents and teams up and is buddies with all the dudes and said, look, something was said in the video and you have to take that video down. Otherwise, there's going to be repercussions, ramifications. It's not clear exactly what that was, but there's speculation that it was going to be taking the dealership down, which just seems totally, totally extreme. Uh, reportedly, the remark he made was something possibly homophobic. Now, I didn't see the video that he's referring to because he did take that down. And I was waiting for more details to come out because I like to have all the facts, you know, all both sides of the story before forming an opinion but two and a half three weeks later and we still don't have all the facts and in this case we're not necessarily entitled to all of that all we know is that something was said by harley corporate and obviously million dollar bogan uh, wasn't stoked on it but he did take the video down because he's buddies with the dudes at the dealer and he doesn't want them to he doesn't want them to be impacted by it and so now he's kind of in a predicament where he's got to decide what does he do moving forward because he loves the harleys he loves the bikes, he loves the culture, he was having a blast, his channel was really picking up a lot of traction, going places, getting a lot of views, and now he's in a position where he can't do videos where he's used to doing the videos, and basically it's left a really bad taste in his mouth, I can only imagine, that he was treated in such a way. And one of the biggest things that I think to most of us, myself included, is just mind-boggling and has really caused a lot of the outrage is the fact that this dude was out there promoting the brand, being a brand ambassador, and just doing wonders i mean a total positive impact a net positive impact for the brand and for the community and to then in turn be treated in such a way by corporate harley because of this that's what i think blows us all away because we're like whoa dude like have you not watched his videos and seen you know all the crazy stuff he's doing and all the positive publicity he's bringing for the brand and the community and he's not asking anything in return you know, Harley doesn't pay him for this, aside from maybe some support he gets at the dealership. He buys the bikes himself, he does the writing, he does the editing, like, that's all his own doings. So there's no doubt it's been a positive impact for the company, and it has, I'm sure, gotten a ton of people to go out and purchase new bikes and Harleys and to, you know, just explore that side of things. Tons of people have also talked about the positive impact he's had when it comes to mental health, because, I don't know if you know this, but million dollar bogan he didn't come from like this chill background you know he came from pretty pretty rough upbringing but the dude became a very successful business guy realtor all that stuff there in australia and tons of people have come out saying how much his videos have impacted them in a positive way because of all that so there's no doubt he's had a net positive impact both on the motorcycle community uh, with a lot of dudes and their mental health just in general it's been a very positive impact so that's what's caused a lot of outrage and in my opinion rightfully so because 
that doesn't seem like any way to support somebody who's been so loyal to a brand. Yeah, it just seems bizarre that they would have gone about doing it this way. So personally, I think it's like real obvious how they could have gone about doing it. There's tons of ways they could have gone about doing this. I understand from a corporate position for business, when something is said in a dealership that can reflect on the business. And it seems like it would have been so easy to just reach out and say, yo, we love what you do. We love your content. We think it's awesome that you support and represent Harley Davidson. We noticed in such and such video that a remark was made in our dealership that reflects poorly on us as a dealership. You know, those aren't whatever. That's not a position we're in line with. So we would just ask that you edit that out. Easy peasy. I can only imagine he would have been like, oh, my bad, dude. Yeah, let me do that. You can go into YouTube and edit things out without taking the whole video down. And then maybe you could say, hey, moving forward, if you're going to do videos in the dealership, that's all we ask. And maybe they could throw him a bone and say, hey, but we love what you're doing and we want to I don't know, link up with you in this way or link up with you in that way. I mean, Harley Davidson, they've linked up with other people. They linked up with, I forget the dude who did the big ride on his BMW and now they linked up with him to do an electric ride on a Harley. Like they get behind other people, but to get on the ground level and really support a creator, I don't know that they've done that yet. Supposedly they have some amb ambassadors out there, but I don't know who they are. I don't know if any of you do, but I mean, people are watching dudes like Million Dollar Bogan, not not these other guys, because he's authentic, you know, it's genuine, and he does his thing. So I think that would have been a very easy way that they could go about doing it. Now, moving forward, what I hope would happen is that this would be something negative and that it gets turned positive. And while it may be difficult to do to admit to you're wrong, if Harley would just reach out and say, look, dude, our bad, we messed up the way we went about this, it'd be cool to do something moving forward. And if they would end up teaming up and turning this into something positive and basically something where you learn from your mistakes may require a little bit of humility on both sides. But if they were to do that, I guarantee you would have a huge shift where all these people right now who are talking out about Harley corporate and can't stand it and are questioning the brand and whether or not they're going to continue riding Harley's moving forward because of this decision. I'm pretty confident all those people would be like, dude, that was the grown-up adult move on both sides of the table awesome let's get back to like square one and you know the drama's over it just seems like such a simple solution and yet the the reality of that happening i think is you know little to none but anyway there's my thoughts on it my unsolicited opinion although i did have a lot of people asking me about it yeah so i don't know let me know what you guys think i have watched a handful of the videos you know people talking about this it is a hot topic and I think for good reason. I think for good reason. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, Dan with Gears and Gadgets, he's one of the first dudes who posted a video about this and that's where I initially saw the news break. So shout out to him. He's always on top of these things. And he actually presented what I think is a great possible solution or at least an outline for one for doing a Harley Ambassador type program. So I don't know, man. That's my long-winded uh, long thoughts on the controversy, man. Now, paying homage million dollar bogan style well just taking down a few notches we're gonna ride back to the main road and see if we can pop a couple wheelies on the dyna if you are just now tuning into the channel just because of this video oh crap then thank you for stopping by if you enjoy it as always i invite you to like and subscribe the support is much appreciated and I gotta tell you, man, the stuff he does, like the, just the gnarly, like, gnarly stuff he does on that bike, riding through the ocean and whatnot, pretty cool, man, pretty impressive. And the adventure spirit, man, is that not what it's all about? 